Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the first of my declutter series. I will be taking you around my whole house and I'll be decluttering 10 items at a time. For me, this is the most manageable way to keep my house low in clutter and to get rid of those items that I'm not using or just some of that unnecessary stuff that I really don't need. Whenever I'm feeling really overwhelmed or I feel like the house is getting out of control and there's just too much going on, for me, the answer is less. So, you know, taking a break from doing things, less stuff, just really taking a time out. So for me, decluttering means less stuff, which means less things to put away and to find places to store those items and also less time spent cleaning. So let's go ahead and get started with the 10 items for today. And then towards the end of the video, I will go over some more like tips and tricks on how I make the decluttering process easy, as well as go into more detail and expand on what types of videos are to come in this the clutter series so since we're only going to be starting with 10 items at a time having three different bins might not be necessary but you can always keep three different bins in your house so each time you do go through the decluttering process you can just pull them out and it will make it easier so um, I like to keep a bin one for tossing items one for like donating or giving to goodwill or passing on to like a family member or a friend and then the third one for items that you can sell. So I always start with one room at a time and I start in a clockwise motion. So I'll start all the way at the right side of the room and then just kind of work my way around the room. If that seems too overwhelming, just start with like one section of a room at a time. So say for example, like your silverware drawer or the kids toy area. So just remind yourself that you didn't accumulate all this clutter in one night. So you can't expect to just have a clutter-free home in one day. It does take time for things to accumulate and add up. Therefore, it's gonna take time to declutter and get your space more manageable and have less things. So we're gonna head over to the living room today and then we're gonna work our way towards the kitchen area and we're just gonna find 10 items to declutter. So I'm starting over in the furthest corner of my TV slash living room today. And um, right off the bat, I see this little toy that was like a McDonald's Happy Meal toy and it's kind of broken. So I'm gonna put this in the pile of things to toss. I've just been going through this whole area here um, of my daughter's toys and just kind of trying to get it nice and organized. Um, so it is looking a little bit better. Um, I do know that there's some coloring books in here that I haven't gone through in a while. Just kind of going through the coloring books and making sure that there's not books that have like nothing left to color. Because I find like especially things like coloring books and that kind of thing, it's like, you know, the kids just get a million of them and they keep stacking up and adding up and you never really go through them and you don't know what's finished up and, you know, what still has blank pages. So we're going to go ahead and toss this book. It is pretty much all colored, so there's no reason to hang on to it anymore. Okay, so I finished up with the right section over here. So now we're heading over towards the kitchen area. And just as I'm walking by, I noticed that we have some Valentine's Day cards and school projects. And since Valentine's Day is past and tomorrow is actually my daughter's birthday. So I wanna kind of declutter this area and make room for some of her birthday cards. Now I do always kind of feel bad about throwing out or getting rid of um, my daughter's school projects that she's made or cards that people have given to her or to me. But the truth of the matter is, is that if you hang on to every single thing that someone gives you just because you feel guilty or because it's sentimental and you hang on to that tangible physical clutter over time, your house is going to look like an episode of Hoarders. It's just, it's going to happen. Um, so what I like to do personally is I like to take pictures of my daughter's school projects. Now, don't get me wrong. I do save some of my favorites and um, I put them in like a little scrap box, but I am realistic about it. And my favorite way to hold on to the memories, especially little art projects that have her handprints or her little feet on them. Um, I like to take pictures of them and then I make like a collage for the year. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snap a couple photos of the artwork she made. So 
So then this way I can still cherish those memories without physically keeping them for years to come. I will have them on my camera. I like to make picture collages with like all of our different projects for the year. So using the camera is a good option to getting rid of the clutter without feeling that guilt that you get from getting rid of their school projects. So now I'm just taking a quick peek through my kitchen drawers to see if there's anything within the drawers that I need to declutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek inside this one. I think that I have a few bottle openers and I don't need three. So I'm gonna try to just declutter one. So I have three different bottle openers here. Um, this one is actually just like a little keychain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because I have two other ones that work just as fine. And after a while you start collecting things and things add up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the either toss or giveaway pile. So next up, I'm gonna take a peek inside the junk drawer. I know that there is always at least one thing or two things to get rid of in here. Um, again, these could just be little things that add up. You could declutter a pen, you could declutter a receipt, just anything to get you your 10 items. So I see some like old random receipts that um, I can like the furniture receipt that I don't need anymore. It doesn't need to be in here. Um, this Vaseline is probably older than I want to admit right now. I can go ahead and get rid of that one. And then I see some like little Barbie shoes that were in here. Um, I don't even know where the Barbie is to, that goes with these shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these ones. That's about it for in this drawer right now. So underneath my kitchen sink is pretty clutter free. However, I do have an extra like drain catcher floating around back there. Um, then I already have one that's actually in my drain. So I don't need to. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, that's another really good tip that if you have multiples of things, really ask yourself, do you need two? Do you need three? And kind of find one to part ways with. Maybe you could pass it along to someone that needs that. Or maybe if it's like a brand new item or an item that's in really good shape, maybe you could sell it and make a couple dollars. Now I've been going through like my silverware drawer and I've been kind of on the fence about getting rid of one of my sets of silverware. It's not in the best shape. As you can see, like it's very loose. Um, there's cracks in it. And the bottoms of some of like the spoons are kind of like peeling off and really nasty. So as much as I love the bright green, I think it's time to go ahead and part ways with this set. Um, it wasn't expensive, so it doesn't make me feel as bad, but I do know that if I make some space for something new, I can find something else that I love just as much. So I don't wanna just hang on to something because I really like the color when um, it's not really in that good of condition anymore and it's kind of falling apart and all cracked and getting kind of nasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this set. So I'm just kind of going through some of my kitchen cabinets and um, this is where I keep like all my vitamins, ibuprofen, Mosher and things like that for my daughter, my daughter's vitamin, just like emergency. And then way up there at the top is my uh, secret stash. Don't tell anyone. I just like to kind of go through and check the dates on everything, make sure nothing's expired, that kind of thing. Um, so everything on this shelf is pretty good. Just kind of making sure that there's nothing like hidden in the back there and weird. Um, this supplement, it's uh, collagen peptides. It's actually pretty good, but it's been in there a while and there, there's only a little bit left. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and boss this because there's really no point in holding on to something that is pretty much empty. So here's everything that I've decluttered today. I definitely have the 10 items here. I'll kind of group this in to one item, two, three, the receipts will be four, four, the little shoes will be five, six, seven, eight, the silverware will be nine and then 10. So that concludes the first video of my declutter series. So for the rest of my videos, I'm gonna continue throughout my house. I still have more to do in the kitchen. And basically I'm just gonna do 10 items at a time. 
because that's what works the best for me and it's the least overwhelming. So each time I film 10 or I do a section, I'm gonna film it for you guys so you can see, hopefully you find this helpful, hopefully it's motivating. And again, I just wanted to kind of go over some key takeaways when it comes to decluttering. I personally feel like the key to keeping down clutter is to not letting it get out of control, which means just kind of going through and scanning your space and just looking at every item and asking yourself like, do you use this? Do you need it? Um, when's the last time it was used? If it's a kid's item, like do they play with it? Is it broken? Do they have something else like it? Is there someone else that may need it or use it more? If you're not using it, can you sell it? Is there something that you can sell and make money off of? Well, I like to stick with like the six month to a year rule, depending on what the season is, if it's a seasonal item. Um, if you haven't looked at the item in six months to a year, if you haven't used the items in six months to a year, the chances are you probably don't need to hang on to that item and keep it within your space. Say you end up needing it five years down the road, you can always go ahead and repurchase the item if you really do need it, but it just doesn't make sense to have it taking up space within your house and just kind of holding on to that energy and that clutter. Try to avoid going through and saying to yourself, well, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll use it. I feel like this is one of my biggest um, shortcomings when it comes to decluttering especially with my clothes I'm like oh well maybe I'll use that or maybe I'll wear it for pajamas or maybe I'll wear this dress at that time most of the time when you say maybe it, it never happens just try to get yourself to decide okay either I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna pass on it meaning like I'm gonna donate it or I'm gonna give it to someone else that will use it and really love it or I'm gonna sell it Probably my number one tip to keeping a house appear to be very neat and clutter free all the time is to always have a place for everything in your home so that you can easily tidy up and put it away. If you have items that don't have a spot or a space and you don't know where they are to be put away, then maybe you need to ask yourself, do I really need this item? Not to mention when everything has a home and you know exactly where it's gonna go, your cleanup time for quickly cleaning up your house is gonna be a lot easier and it's gonna take a lot less time. So if starting with 10 things at a time seems like too much or you're kind of going around your house and you're really having a difficult time with, I don't know what to get rid of or you know, you're know you unsure, just, just try to start with one item a day. If you do one item a day all year, that's 365 items that are gonna be out of your house. And that's a lot when you look at it. And there's no rules to decluttering. You know, It could be a pen, it could be a random plastic wrapper, anything that is taking up space and that's an object and you either get rid of it, you sell it, you pass it on, that's considered decluttering. So another tip would be to start with one room at a time and just start on the right side, work in clockwise motion, or just start with one section at a time and grab like three boxes or three bins or three piles. I even take like post-it notes and I will stick them on different items like, okay, tossing, donating, selling, just anything you can do to kind of make the process more organized. And just start slow, don't overwhelm yourself. Just remember your house didn't accumulate all the clutter and all the mess you know, in one day. So you have to have realistic expectations and you can't expect for your house to be clutter free and organized in one day. It's gonna take time, just like it took time for all the clutter to be built up and for things to get out of control. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.